Meetings Act and all that. Okay, give me about 10 seconds. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the July 21st special meeting of the Rochester Planning Commission. Uh, please, uh, let's have the roll call. Okay, uh, Chairman McGee. Here. Vice Chairman Hauser. Here. Secretary Sage. Absent. Uh, Mayor uh, Bixon. Apt, he's absent. Commissioner Gasson. Here. Commissioner King. Here. Commissioner Lord. Commissioner Clark Martin. She's excused. And Commissioner Stone. Thank you. Uh, if you were counting, we do not have a quorum for tonight's meeting, so we re regret that anyone that set time aside to watch this or participate in it, uh, we're going to push this agenda back to August 1st. That's the next scheduled meeting of the Planning Commission. So any of the items on here tonight, there was one action item. It was a public hearing for a, uh, an ordinance amendment. So we'll push that into the future. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything we really need to discuss? It's just that the next meeting is going to be August 1st. Uh, yep. I, nothing as far as I'm concerned. If there's public uh, comment that needs to be or wants to be made, that, that would Patrick, be Patrick, you aware approach. of any written or? Uh, I have nothing, Mr. Chairman. And anyone monitoring the phone? Come on up. Good evening. Hi, Looks like you just came from work. I did. I thought so. I did. But it all worked out almost, huh? <laughs> um, Patricia King, 817 West 4th. And nice to meet you. Glad you could again, make it. Again, right? I miss seeing you, so that's why I showed up tonight. Um, as far as the ordinance goes on lights, I want to thank, first of all, Christian Hauser um, for his recommendation. Nothing has changed. We're still exactly where we are with two driveway lights on a garage that are made to light one's driveway. So it's shiny now. 100 feet beyond into my whole house and my driveway. It's across the street. We're going to get on to uh, the other lights. They are still, as of last night, my front stone steps with all my foliage, my front stone steps, you can see all the lights on to my porch, the lights on the whole face of my front of my house, through my windows, the lock of my front door is still illuminated through my foliage from across the street, a backyard light. So, I will present or send to city manager's office um, some recent photos. I am going to ask that we change this because what uh, Nick has told me is, quote, he has no teeth. Nothing's changed, but this, the way we are, has created an annoyance and a nuisance that nobody should have to live with with that glaring light. Now, I will say one Nick, thing. would it be appropriate for somebody from the staff to go with Pat to go? No, we, we already done that. So I, mm -hmm. I called the guy, mm -hmm. wrote him a letter. Mm -hmm. He blew me off. Yeah. Did he? And I, and I, I like Pat said, I don't have any teeth because it's not, by the present order, it's not illegal. So the guy just blows. But here's where I'm at with this. Okay. Nobody else for the taxation and the quality of life is putting up with this. And I showed you all before the photos of how bad that glare is. It's my bedroom. It's our porch that we can't use. It's the whole face of our house. So it is ignorant for someone to say, I'm lighting my yard. No problems illuminating your property. What gives him the right to create this all inside my house and my whole property is our ordinances. I looked up, again, some city ordinances, multiple, and I will have them presented nicely in a package. But okay. this is how the new municipalities are saying. Light trespass beyond a property boundary or above the horizontal plane shall be considered noncompliance. All outdoor lighting fixtures residential shall be designed, installed, located, and maintained such that the light illumination shall not cross a property line. It illuminates your property, not your neighbors. Our rights were given away. <coughs> We're living, if this is how everybody can live, even in a million dollar house in Rochester, we are causing some major issues. Nobody for the money would expect it. We live in uh, below standards, less quality, and a precedence was set that, as I mentioned, I use that word discriminatory, when 
multiple housing versus residential, multiple housing protects residential from this. Resident to resident doesn't. And our rights are given away in the ordinance. So all I'm going to say is, here are the, trust, the word trespass. If a tree is over my property, and I feel I'm at risk, even if it's a limb, it's a trespass. Guess what? I have the right to cut it. As long as I don't kill, I have the right to cut it down. If the neighbor puts garbage on my property, it's a trespass. I have the right to remove it. If my neighbor decides all his snow is going over on my property and into my bushes and that, I have the right to remove it, but you're protected from this trespass. There is nothing to protect from blight trespass like this. And I'm going to tell you, I mentioned this, I think, before. My husband's having a full body PET scan now. It's deteriorated at that point. He has a PET CAT scan coming up on the 29th. He had a new injection yesterday. You know what? I am going to fight for my rights on the house he is still working to afford and for my right to have the peaceful use and quiet enjoyment of my porch and my house without this city giving away my rights to a stranger for a known trespass. So I'm going to go ahead and when you, you're going to you're going to compile this and send yes. it to the and city manager. And when I did ask, um, and you asked me, I said, Pat, is it just these lights? And I said, yes. Yes, I, I, I will tell you, I'm going to correct that. I misspoke. Those were the lights I was really concerned with. Do I have light trespass from the other lights? This last week, I took photos from inside my house of how bad it is. But, you know, I spent over $1,000 to get rid of the light in the back, but that means shuttering up every night. So unless somebody wants the interior of their house to be like a train station in the evening, why is Rochester building houses with windows when this can happen to them? That is across the street. That is beyond the neighbor that's next door to you, which you'd hope you'd have more, uh, how can I say, respect. Unfortunately or fortunately, we don't do this to any neighbor. We live within our property, totally. Most people do. Well, not in our neighborhood. Not and they that won't. person anyway. I mean, I, I did. Is that a longtime resident? I don't want to know the name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've and we've been we've been here, but here's our investment. Here's coming to what I call end of life. Yeah. And we're denied even the tiniest thing from across the street. And if you were to ask somebody, how reasonable is it that you have to light your driveway, but then light another about hundred feet? It, it's, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay. We hear you okay. absolutely, and I and I understand your concern, obviously. But yeah, wish I'm your just going the to best. send the photos. Um, I'll send some language. Okay. And I'm just going to ask that this somehow it has to be taken care of. I don't okay. want to have to involve other. I just don't want to do it any further. I'm. I have enough on my plate. I want yeah. the peace and use of my quiet. That man has it. He sits in his backyard. He has none of this. Okay. We don't. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Nick, any follow up on that? Okay, good. Yeah. Thanks, Pam. Any other public comment? I don't see any. So um, I think with that, we can get on our merry way here. So I apologize to all of you for the inconvenience of the evening, and uh, you know, we'll try to address this no uh, privately. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> We can be here. I think people with these appointments should, if they're on a vacation, they should show up. So I uh, hope they hear my words and uh, follow them. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thanks. What's our next one? August 1st? August 1st. August.